So, welcome back everyone. We're here for the back nine of Vilnius Open 2022. It's me, Gabrielus, and Darius. Yeah, hello everyone again. We're back here, back nine. The score, the separation is the same as be before the <laughs> front nine, so let's see if any moves will be made in the back nine. Yeah, let's see what and, happens. Uh, yeah. Matthias moved to uh, minus 23. And he's still in the lead, uh, pretty solid, I think, uh, four points, yeah, four points ahead of Matt Serik, uh, who has minus 19. Yep. can mention that Matthias is the highest rated player on, in the tournament. And uh, Carl. Carl Hurt with minus 17, so same two points yeah. back of second place. And we will have uh, Rasmus. Who's two, two strokes back. So yeah. uh, everything's still in play, yeah. everybody within short distance. If I can mention, over. Gabriel, it's your prediction before the tournament. You said 10 under will be a hot round and winning score minus 25. No, no, I said, I, said yeah. I said that uh, <laughs> he can play better and yeah. even I said that maybe even possible <laughs> to have yeah. a minus 30. Okay, let's introduce the hole number 10. So that's the only par 5 on the course, 295 meters. Uh, the fairway goes by the asphalt road, uh, turning to the left uh, midway. And the asphalt is always OB on the right. So, yeah, I mean... Um, Two huge drives and you can reach a basket for an eagle, but that's not easy to do. It's easier to save and to do. So first shot you want to go just straight hyzer as far as possible. You see in all the flags down there by, by the road. So yeah. if you reach the flags, that's perfect. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you go around this. That is long short. Yeah, I think you just really want you kind of want to go uh, far because that opens up the right side, but you want to be on the left because it moves you closer to the basket as yeah. well. So, like, you have to find some some balance here. Some yeah. balance. You still want to go straight, but you yeah. <laughs> want to finish on the left too. And so. and, and going sometimes too strong. What happens with players even reach uh, those trees uh, behind the road and stay OB? You know, if you ah, go if too you wide, you know, if yeah. You, if you flip your disc over, yeah. but. Carl is playing very safe game. I think that pine tree is something like 80 meters from yeah, the tee. So. So yeah, that was like 90 meter shot. Yeah. But, but that is safe and you can still take birdie from there. Yeah. A lot of what depends on like second shot here. Yep. It's like you have to go around that uh, trees, trees on the bottom. Yeah. And if you fail it, then you can put You see the birch there. trees down there, so you want to be on the right side of all these wide birch yeah. trees. Because on the left is pretty obstructed. Yeah, so that's mm, two left. Uh, that's not playing for a party no. from there, because it's there's too many trees in the way. Unless some sick roller under the trees. <laughs> yeah, that's Rasmus is going long. Yeah, that looks wide enough. Yeah, that goes around the trees on the fairway. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's setting up for an easy birdie. Yeah, from here. And what is that like? Some 40, 45 meters yeah, left. Maybe 50 months. Maybe 50. So Mats, he's long enough, so he can go higher around the trees. Yeah. But it's still difficult to reach. Yeah, I think it's coming back. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's that's an easy birdie. Maybe even. Uh, eagle look. Circle four. <laughs> circle, <laughs> maybe circle three even. Okay, so Matthias' drive is coming. So Matthias had the longest drive of the tee. Oh, that's high. That looks good. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's circle... <laughs> just outside circle two, I think. Yeah. Easy, but not for an eagle, but... No. Some throw in eagle. Oh, yeah, we see Carl is obstructed and he just goes around the trees. Yeah. Place for par. Yeah, so. Yeah, we see a bit different game from Carl, and uh, we can see that his third shot is still shorter than uh, like two shots of Matthias. Yeah. Now avoiding uh, these hanging branches. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice good. approach. 
That's a bullseye hit for yeah. Rasmus. No, he's not gonna miss. Yeah. And uh, actually, this hole kind of played as a uh, fifth hardest on the tournament, but I believe if we took only MPO, MPO then this probably would move a bit to the easier side as we have more long throwers. Yep, yeah, that, that, that is big game changer for distance, you know, so if yeah. you take amateurs, it's it's pretty hard a hole. Uh, if you take it. And if you take MPO field, it becomes pretty birdie. Yeah, you yeah. see, that's that's an approach for birdie from Matthias. So, have we had any eagles here? Probably not. I think we, we, so we, we, did, we didn't. Yeah, but I, I know that some people were putting for an eagle for like 12 meters or 15 okay. meters. So, you know, so but uh, missed yeah, it. That's really possible. As the second shot is uh, downhill, of, co of course, obstructed with the. Mm -hmm. But if you put yourself in a good position, yeah. So Carl takes par and Matthias takes easy birdie. Yeah. <laughs> Feels a bit a bit nervous and putting with <laughs> him. <laughs> this final round, you know, he needs to keep like this. Gallery. Yeah. So we have three under on this hole. Uh, yeah. That's how it's played. Yeah. yeah I think Okay, happen. hole number 11, another par four, not too long, but the uh, first shot is from inside the woods and I feel like first 60 meters or so is inside yeah. the woods, maybe 50. And uh, ideally you want to place yourself like right here in this middle gap. And uh, then the second shot is steep uphill. And, uh, and this is another 30 meters, I believe. Towards yeah. the basket. Yeah, so I believe like the first shot you just have to go out, get out of the woods. If you do not, you can forget about the birdie. Right. And then uh, I think the second shot is really the important. Yeah, that the second shot is for birdie. You know? Yeah, as you go so much uphill, like. Yeah. And uh, Matthias. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he touched okay. the last three. Oh, but he was fortunate. I mean, he is out. Not maybe like uh, the uh, sweetest spot, but uh, I mean, it's it's all good. I mean, as long as you are out from the gap. Oh, oh that's early. And roll back. I mean, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, you don't see that very often. some crazy spin on the disc. Yep. Going backwards like that. Oh, Rasmus throws barely over that uh, small hill, yeah. <laughs> pile. Yeah. yeah, the hill. So <coughs> which sometimes can catch your disc and then leave you. But even hitting that, it's it's already kind of okay. oh that's a oh, oh that was very fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was a crazy bounce. <laughs> okay, so Matt's Eric uh, is that's uh, yeah. That's what you said. For forget about Berdi yeah, and try to save your par. Actually, now now taking par is almost like a Berdi game from the tees. Yeah. Right? And uh, even after this shot, still. An approach left. Yeah, that is. Yeah, you have to think about angles. You know how you reach the basket, from which gap. You know what disc. It makes you think a lot. Yeah, we see Carl after that crazy skip from the ground. He's still in very good still position. Still in the position for. Yeah, that is like just a game throw on top of the ba on on the hill, and that's an easy par. Yeah. Or even a look for a par if for for no, putt if you want. That's edge of circle too. So. Oh, Matthias is kind of too far on the left. Yeah, he got that kick to the left mm. in the first shot. And <laughs> so he's <laughs> up there. A bit out of position. And yeah, and we see it's pretty much 20 meters away from the basket, yeah. so. So Rasmus is trying to save his par now. I mean, uh, no, Rasmus uh, had. Oh, second oh no, it first. was. It was Mats. Oh, sorry, yeah. So now Rasmus, yeah. That was unfortunate, <laughs> because yeah. if he didn't kick, uh, reach that bush, he probably would roll down into yeah, the green. Skip down somewhere yeah. on the green. And Mats, Mats. Oh. And that was, three. yeah. As I said. If you don't exit the woods, then second shot, and then you still have an approach, and yeah. and now this is a par putt, and that's, that's a pretty long one. Putt, yeah, that's not an easy downhill, and you can go pretty long if then you miss it. Now. Yeah, he wasn't even going for it. Yeah. This whole like first shot, if you if you execute it, then it becomes easy. If you if you don't, then you're 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 scrambling yeah. for your par. 
so Martias is just going for par, not risking it. Yeah, because it, it's not so visible on the camera, but behind the basket it still goes a little bit downhill and, and it yeah. and basket is maybe a little bit higher. Ooh, that's a very that nice was run. nice run. That was nice run. So Carl is taking easy par. That probably was his game plan after the first show. <laughs> yeah. No, that was par par par. Yeah. And I think Mats is Mats taking is a bogey is after. Mats. Yeah. Yeah, that, that shows how important it is with first, uh, basically, placement shot through the gap. Hole number 12. Uh, so this is downhill from Puchkori Mound, and we see double Mando tree, so we, go, we have to go straight. 106 meters straight into the gap between the pine trees. And yeah, that's straight, straight, straight. You just want to go down, 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 straight to the ground, probably slide towards the basket. And that's it. If you hit the line, you can have a birdie, but it's easier say, to save and make it. Sometimes you are lucky and you go between the trees and don't touch it and still reach the basket. But you have to really calculate not only the line, but the height. Because yes. if you go too high, you can easily throw 30 meters behind the hole. If I remember correctly, the elevation is 18 meters here. So the, the difference, so yeah. yeah. So yeah, that is very old Puchkori mound. Uh, Matthias hit the trees and now Rasmus going through. That is circle edge. Just behind, just outside, outside just outside, outside yeah. yeah. But it's something like 11, 12 meters. What is Carl doing? Yeah. Yeah, and so um, often do you see this uh, right hand and back backhands like just leaking to the left because mm -hmm. it's it's hard to keep it all the time straight when you're throwing this much down. So yeah, probably want to go even more down when these players are doing. That. Yeah, that that looks like too high for me. But oh, that's oh yeah, that's that's, that's, nice that's nice line. That's nice line. Yeah. Oh, Aww. that's nice line. <laughs> I take my words back. <laughs> He knows what he's doing Hitting with his disc. Pole. So that's green hit. Some seven, eight meters per. Matthias is midway. It should not be a problem for him to make approach for a par. Yeah, that's how this hole usually looks many times. If you hit the tree, then you just have yeah, to jump just out outside of it. Oh, that's unfortunate. A lot of butts for Rasmus, which were pretty close from yeah. outside the circle the last hole and now again nice we go. nice birdie Carl Carl is showing very decent putting yeah this round. and uh, Matt Serik needs to the get mate. his confidence back on his putt come on just another one uh, that, that hurts and especially for Matt Serik because he missed uh, previously a couple of, of putts uh, yeah. Yeah. as you say Needs a confidence booster. Yeah. Matthias uh, taps in for par, and Matt does the same. Hole 13, that's a downhill 132 meter par 4. Uh, really, the one hole that is really eagleable. Eagleable, yeah. I even said it's like a par 3.5. <laughs> I can spoil it, but during the weekend we had five eagles here. Okay, yeah. So, as I say, uh, this hole had more eagles than hole 2 had birdies, so <laughs> I think we can officially call this a par three now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, uh, that is tricky hole. I mean, if you don't make the gap... Yeah, then you're scrambling. Yeah, you're scrambling and you might have very interesting scrambles here. Um, and really bad kicks. Uh, as you can see, that shot, Karl puts himself like 20-something meters from the basket. And this hole actually played as a third easiest. 
Yeah, yeah. So as we as we say, we are coming into the easy part now. Oh, but you see, Matthias he, he hit something early, and yeah, yeah. and that and that's a scramble, and it's pretty tough. Tough to birdie it from there. And Rasmus looks like a pretty nice line. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a very nice skip. Very nice. Skip. Where, Where is the basket? What do we see? Oh, oh, that's a green hit. That's a green hit. So we have a eagle. Eagle look, yeah. Uh, possibility. That's yeah. That's how e an eagle is played. Yet another oh, that's also good skip. That's good skip. That's outside circle, I think. Yeah. But an eagle look for sure. So I checked the stats, and uh, this hole actually played as a third easiest. If it was uh, par three, it would have been the hardest. So, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe yeah. it is par four. <laughs> So yeah, well, you can see yeah, Matthias. Matthias scrambling is now for scrambling there. for par. You know. He should should save par. It's now it's not obstructed anymore. Go in! Oh, wow! <laughs> yep. He scrolled out of the bullseye for some statistics. Yeah, <laughs> to improve inside circle. But yeah. okay, so that's this is a eagle look as well. Not this time. This time, first. yeah, and Rasmus is pretty close, we can see. And now, Mats. Mats, yeah, that's it's not very comfortable down there, but uh, but still, eagle look. I mean, uh, yeah. that's okay. No. The easier bullseye hits you can <laughs> have. <laughs> so, Rasmus for an eagle, green hit. Uh, Yes, nice. So and he gets two strokes back from Matthias. And one from others. So Matthias goes for par. par and Mats and Carl should tap their birdies in. Hmm. So yeah, so this hole shows that a T T shot, uh, how important it is yeah, making the gap, you know. Because the rough is very unpleasant so uh, number 14 that's one of the easiest hole uh, uh, easier holes on the course it's par 4 99 meters but it has double mando gates where you have to go through and then it turns very sharply to the right so uh i don't know if it's possible hitting the gap to reach the basket probably not uh maybe just for some you know 20 -ish meters uh, but and you see the basket here yeah the angle is pretty <laughs> yeah, very, very crazy actually. Angle. I mean, to reach the basket, you have to miss the mando. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, mostly forehands probably coming so into the game. Move from third easiest to the fourth easiest okay. hole. So it's like a bit of a As easy, see, easy stretch of the hole. Yep. You go through the gates, and even if it goes, it looks from the tee going very uh, rightish, it's still on the left of fairway. Oh, that's oh, but kick through the gate, <laughs> just backwards from the basket. Yeah. But still, made the mando. I mean, on this hole is most important. Just make a mando and then you see what situation you have. Yes. It's you 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 have some different gaps every time. But these touchy shots, like Mats now through, like yeah. they, they can place you like on a super straight line to the basket. But if you go deep, it's so not such not long of a hole that like even those gaps between the trees are really playable. So yeah. Um, yes. Was that Miss Manda? Yes, yes it was. that was Miss Manda. That was happening also, as you said, it's touchy short, <coughs> and you know, but sometimes you just don't count your power and, and you just go too soft. And yeah. That's why I play it uh, stronger, just go straight to the woods and yeah. then just see what I have for my second yeah, shot. Just less risk of not making the mound yeah. and now that's drop, drop zone. Still uh, par safe. He yeah, should, yeah, yeah, that's in bullseye, that's yeah. easy par safe, but but yeah. Matthias is potentially losing another stroke. Yeah, is it one of the easier holes? Or? Yes, you want to get free here. So if yeah. you if you make uh, the gate, I mean, you must must take free whatever position you get yourself in because you always can find some gaps through these yeah, trees. See it like Rasmus is on the left yeah, but, but it's still a jump, jump out you know so 
Ja, maar. Okay, he left him some, some job, some work to some, do. Some tester part. Yeah. And Carl is going for birdie part, yeah? Nice, <laughs> nice. You see, he even had a kick backwards from the Manda tree and still gets his birdie. Rasmus, birdie also. So one point back from from Matthias and Matsarik. He's not missing this one now. Yes. <laughs> that is four so meters. So Matthias <laughs> still has like three point lead, but yeah. lost one stroke to all the rest of the field. Yeah, and uh, the other guys are like within point one point of each other. So I think. Uh, yeah, There's still, still a lot still of to what to happen. Action and is now coming. hole 15. Not much about the hole. It's the second easiest hole, so we actually had third, fourth, and now the second easiest. 76 meters straight shot. These uh, rocks in the front mark around circle edge, mm. so you want to go over them because it collects all the low shots. But mm. basically, it's a straight, <coughs> probably a putter shot for everyone. And as I said, we, this is like with uh, three holes, it's like easy, easy row of holes. And we saw that Matthias wasn't, wasn't taking birdies, actually. He took par so par. So, yeah, our guys took the birdies. Yeah, so you really want to have birdie, birdie, birdie on these three holes. Uh, that's, that's just inside circle. Inside circle? Yeah, I think yeah. that's inside circle. Yeah, some eight, nine meters. I've been there. Yeah. It's playing with the trees oh, on the left. Those trees sometimes she can catch your discs. Yeah, but that's that's okay. He has like five meter spot. So Matthias saw all all the group being in green. Again, he playing with the trees on that side. Oh, lucky! Yeah, that's a bullseye part. That's good. Yeah, nice, nice. So Coming he's back on birdies. So if Carl makes it, then probably it's star frame. Yeah, birdie, no problem for Carl. I mean, he's putting, putting is very yeah, nice. Yeah, he's so. putting really good this round. Yeah. Maybe not the furthest throwing yep. of the group, but yeah. But you see, I mean, Carl shows a tactical game. You know, you you know your shots, you know your game. I mean, you can keep up with. Uh, I feel we don't have like too long of a par fours and this yes. uh, like cars on, so maybe like. If you are accurate, you yeah. make putts like Carl. Uh, I mean, he shows that he can play. Yeah. So all birdies. So hole number 16. So we have three more to go. 108 meters, uh, par three. One of more difficult par threes. Straight line through this gap turns to the left, so this is a hyzer shot for right-handed players. So players goes the, either through the gap here or some players goes high, but going high over these uh, right trees becomes more and more difficult because the trees are growing higher. So I believe we will see more of a straight yeah, straight the, shots for a skip. The, yeah. yeah, that is again. That is yeah, just right. outside that's circle. Cool. Yeah, that's. That's the play for <coughs> the springtime, but if you play on the summertime when the grass is more thick, there's no more skips on this hole. Yes. And then uh, you are forced to throw a bit higher shots, and mm. the gap closes because the tree, tree Le leaves grow. Yeah. So I think it's the perfect time of the year for this hole yes, to be I mean, played. As we see in nature, I mean, on the Puchkori course in general, I mean, we see that this is a perfect time to play. The grass is not too long yet, uh, yeah, and you see skips are coming. I can also uh, tell a secret that just before the tournament we cleaned that gap a little bit. It used to be more obstructed, so now it is, I think, more correct for for nice nice shots. Yeah, because it was catching some. Yeah, it used to be to have more random random branches falling into the gap, and, and it was not fair for the players. So what we see is. Four similar shots, I yeah, would say. Everyone is around the circle. Yeah. Nobody's, Nobody's inside. green hit. Yeah. So we have some putting putting con contest. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Carl! Oh, <laughs> 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 that's a beginner putt, you know, because many beginners think that you have to throw it on top. Okay? Who I'm doesn't sure. know the game? <laughs> that's crazy if you land it on top. Like yeah. No, Another. Oh, and that's a tester pot backwards. Let's so see if anyone 
can so make it. Rasmus. So we have two more. Nope. Right. That branch was uh, in <laughs> the way, and I think he had to decide if he yeah. goes under it or over it. I, I think you might <coughs> go down on the knees and then... Yeah, Finally, that is nice. Yeah, the, I'm so, so happy for Mats after missing so many putts. Yeah. Oh, we, those putts were probably too close for him. Yeah, See, he needed so. 11 meters to make it. New tactic for approaching. <laughs> Matthias saves his par. Yeah. And actually, just like that, Mats <coughs> moves within two points of Matthias. Okay. So it's... And we have only two holes to go and... Uh, those two holes, I can spoil it already, are this hole 17 is second hardest and hole 18 is the hardest on to the par. You know, when, when, when they designed this course, I mean, that's what I expected. Well, yeah, this is the this two holes that are not originally in the, in the, in the permanent the layout. layout yeah. Yeah. So hole 17, it's pretty wide fairway, OB on the left with the path, and then the green, the basket is uh, like the safe area is very narrow. The path becomes inbounds for yep. the last part, but still, on the right you have like three meters, on the left, you know, it's yeah, inside circle, know. so it's, yeah, it's... Something it's like 10 meters wide yeah, uh, so green, yeah. you know. The first shot is then becomes really important. If you have a very good shot, yeah. you... you might you have a jump jump butt approach, you know, or where you go... Oh, that, that is that's going OB. OB. Yeah. Yeah. Not enough turn, and yeah, and that's what happens. You want to go as far as possible, but yeah, you have to turn your disc. Yeah. Because, because uh, this is, you are risking with that left OB. <laughs> Rasmus was scared of <laughs> first shot. So yeah, and where Rasmus landed now, it's like... It is still some 90 meters to a basket, yeah. I think. And uh, So I don't think you want to go for a basket from there. Carl play, play straight, must be safe. No no bad skip. Yeah, uh, and even yep. from here, it's still pretty far. So it is. Yeah, that's that wasn't very long shot. You have to have really good drive and be really far to make yourself. I know it's uh, some player who made it almost to the end of a fairway and still got five, because threw second shot into OB and missed the five. And Ma uh, Matthias, that is nice low. Not if, if it was a little bit higher, I think it would have been perfect, but, yeah. but I still think I mean it's possible to play from there. Now, now, now it's a decision time. You know. Do you want to go for the green or you just play safe? If you go, then better miss long, yes. don't miss short. Yeah, because you cross it. Oh, this is that great. is this perfect. Is amazing. That is amazing shot. Such a touchy approach and it's in bullseye. Perfect. I love seeing that. Yeah. Erasmus is a bit back, so I think yeah, he, he just knows that he him. has to play. And this fights through... Oh. And that's safe! Yes, yes. Oh my god. That's because like you see, OB line is still on the top, of because that is dangerous place to play. So not what, not three ways OB, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, Matthias is not risking, he's just taking short and going for par. I think after uh, Mats went to B, yeah, Matthias knows. knows that he will not lose a sh uh, stroke. And yeah. So Mats now needs to go for a basket to save his par. And that looks mm -hmm. good. That is safe. Yeah. It's still some distance for a part. Yeah, it's scary if you... The most important mistake not to make is not to be short. Yeah, because then you because cross the OB and you didn't you cross you it. You before. never come into the green, you know, and you just playing from the same spot. So that's even this approach is touchy, you know, <laughs> and you have to think not to yeah, roll into the river. I seen some jump pads go into the river. Yeah. So. Because you see like uh, the bullseye and then it's OB. You know? yeah. I was joking that, you know, I you are in, o in bullseye on this hole and you still can go one meter towards the basket. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. And that's a bogey for Mats. Yeah. And I think that's now even a lot of breathing room and it's for Matthias. Carl going for... Oh, and that... Is that safe? Safe, safe yeah. Landing next to photographer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, the benches is OB already, but... Uh, but that rolled back. So that's for par. I mean, he yeah. missed the birdie part. Actually, I think it was first, first missed part for, for Carl. 
probably. Yeah, that's and nice birdie from last That was an amazing approach. Yeah, but that was really, really good. The, the drive wasn't in the perfect position, but... Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I like seeing this whole plate like this. Uh, and just like that, Rasmus catches uh, Karl on the third place, and they're both one shot back from Mats. Yeah, so hole number 18, as Gabriele said, the most difficult hole. So uh, OB on the right, OB on the left. OB catches some grass, I mean, so not a footpath just here on the corner. And you see OB is turning, left trees, uh, right trees is in OB all the time, left OB goes away, I mean, and OB behind the basket and we see the car driving, so the asphalt is yeah. OB line also. So. Touchy first shot, uh, it's uh, where you see white spotter standing 100 meters is just oh. behind him. Oh, that's a run shot. That's, does it go through? Actually, I was, oh, I was, went through. I was standing it? right there and the disc was going for the OB, but it touched some branch and it redirected it to <laughs> okay. the right and it stayed safe. And, it was like was, and it's in a perfect position actually, yeah. that's a perfect spot. Just, just uh, you see the drop zone behind the OB line, and if you are landing there, uh, this is just perfect. This is good shot. Uh, this you is yeah, think. yeah, this is okay. Any anyone would take it. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. If you don't go OB, you take anything here. Well, and Matthias is going safe play. You know, he's not risking it. He has, fr he has free uh, strokes lead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he took it very safe. Actually, very short. And now Mats. This one shot in front of Karl and Rasmus, and he sees that they played good, and he yeah he needed he doesn't want to lose a stroke, and now he goes OB. And th the thing is that from here, uh, yeah, he's uh, using the rule to go Back. straight backwards. Yeah, because basket is just behind all these. Yeah, but trees. you're not you're not saving a par if you go OB this, no, this early no. on the right yeah. because. You just go for, you play for boogie, yeah, because and you cannot reach your basket. From there. And what happens now, Karl and Rasmus has a chance for birdie and if, if they birdie, they can uh, drop Mats outside of the top three. Okay, so Matthias save game. Yeah. Matthias can even boogie that, yeah? <coughs> I don't think that he wants that. No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> So Carl is Carl's second shot. So there's a chance if he puts it under, he can move it to second place. Okay. So this is tracking. Oh, oh, and that's that, that would have been like a bullseye uh, hit probably. Yeah, <laughs> at least like some four, five meters. But that wasn't. And now it's just circle edge. I think uh, circle edge is by the tree actually. So he's yeah, probably just outside. Short. Yeah. Probably wanted it to be a bit closer. Yeah, sure. It's it's in the green, I think. But uh, and Matthias. Uh, yes, so that is far. That is winning shot. <laughs> and Matthias knows it. That's congrats, Matthias. I mean, I think we can congratulate him. Yeah, already. Already. Yeah. So Mats, Mats is yeah. under the basket for his bogey, and now Karl and Rasmus has a chance for a birdie and to. Overtake Mats. So Carl just ah, oh. he was just outside circle, I think. So now this Rasmus putt uh, is, is a for putt second place. Yeah, now it becomes a putt for a second solo second place. Okay, so that is important. I, I think the thing. he probably knows it. That's a bit outside the circle. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Game. That's nice. Congrats, Rasmus. Very for nice solo game. second place. Mats still needs to make this to keep it in third place. Yeah, yeah no, he's so 21 so. under. Karl is 21 under. And Rasmus just took so second place with 22. And that is a champion shot. Yeah, and congrats, Matthias. Congrats, Matthias. After two years of break, uh, yeah, we, we have, we have Vilnius tour. Open back, and yeah, and yeah Matthias Vilota. Very, des very deserved uh, victory. Will Vilnius Open uh, we probably didn't have for a long, longer time because we used to play Lithuanian one in Zarasei. Yeah. And now 
Very nice, yeah. Yes. Very nice game from Matthias. So he's 25 under after three rounds, two hot rounds in first and second day. Bit more safe play during the final round, but he knew what he needs, and that's very, very nice game from young gentleman from Estonia. And, and we'll have a short playoff for the medal of third place. Yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, Is it Mats Eric and Karl? That's uh, to be starting from hole. Uh, actually, the playoff goes uh, from one hole one to whichever hole decides. Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, me, as TD said. I mean, we didn't write any other rules, so we can only follow PDJ rules. So we play. I, I told guys, I mean, you have another round now. <laughs> and I think they are, they are joking in Estonian about this, and so let's, let's play it. Yes. Okay, so Karl has a pretty good shot. On the Spectators, you know, who needed to drive back home were a bit worried, I think, but everybody was enjoying it, and, <laughs> and it was a pretty nice crowd following this playoff. So two safe shots. Oh, well, it was going wide. Oh, that was our oh, stable disc. Play, yeah, that's very good. OB a bit, uh, yeah, but I think, it, yeah. Our best sporter in Lithuania, Donatas, is showing green flag. Yeah, you must trust him. And Mats, just a similar short. Okay. I believe both of them should, should be, be inside. A circle yeah, inside. Okay, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty, pretty close. Oh. Oh. Oof. That was unfortunate, and uh, we, we yeah, saw it during the round with Matt Eric yeah, today. I think today the put putting a bit let him down. Yes. And just like that, Carl takes his bronze medal. Yep. But anyway, we right. both are tied for third place. Just, yeah, yeah Carl, Carl has taken a bronze medal. And we say, Carl was, is only 906 PDJ rated, so he was really the lowest rated player. Yeah. He showed that he can play, and yeah, the very, his very putting decent. game was very yeah. strong, as I, yeah. saw, as I saw now from this round. And so, nice, nice, nice. to be back with Baltic Tour, yeah. and uh, we'll have two more tournaments, and the next one is in Latvia. In Latvia, in Valmira, it's July 22, 24. So I believe most of these players will come to to Latvian tournament. And yeah, and uh, we see win winners. Uh, congratulations to Matthias Willot. And we see how Estonia is dominant. I mean, top 11, only one Lithuanian flag yeah, in Mid sixth August place. In sixth place. A local player and all the others in top positions are from Estonia. So yeah, Lithuania and Latvia has something to do to catch it up. Yeah, so uh, thanks everyone for watching yeah. and uh, see you in the future. And Thank you. See you in Valmera now.